Hello everybody, Ryan the Almighty here. Um, today I am doing a review of a game called No Moria. Uh, this is a indie game which is recently, I suppose, let out of alpha build. Um, it's a pretty cool little game. Um, I've been playing it over the last couple of days and it is quite fun. Um, and I've decided to do a giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away... Uh, one key to this game. Uh, depending on the response, if that many people are interested or not, I might give away two keys. Um, yeah. So if you want to enter in and win a copy of this game, uh, just post in the comments. Doesn't matter what you post, post anything you want. Um, and yeah, I will draw a random person to win next time I do a video of this in a couple of days. So yeah. So basically, it's got a, uh, a world generator so every time you play it's a different um, world to play in. Uh, let's do Bleeding Kingdom. <coughs> let's generate that. Basically you take control of a bunch of gnomes who have travelled to this land and are building and starting new. So it's kind of fun like that. <laughs> you basically have to go and mine, collect resources, grow grow farms, build animal farms, uh, and you can get attacked by other gnome tribes. So you've got to prepare for that and fight them off. Because, and you've got to basically build and stockpile everything to attract other gnomes to come and live with you and work for you. So basically, that's the basic gist of it. Now, I haven't gotten that far in the game. So, and I'm still learning, so I may be a bit, um, oh, what do you call, a bit off at the moment. So, let's get in. So here are your gnomes. You've got your, your pause, your um, play, and your fast forward of time. I'm going to rotate it. The controls in this are a little bit weird. That's just because I'm probably not used to it. So, basically this is the randomly generated world. And as you can see, it is height orientated. So you've got tops of mountains, and you can go below the world. It goes down to a depth of 60, I think. Oh, wow. Depth of 102. So that's pretty deep. So basically up in your top left you've got your food and your drink. You've got to keep them nourished so that they keep working, I suppose you'd say. Yeah, let's zoom in. Let's let's build basically you build in the side of a mountain. This looks like a nice flat area. So let's uh first we want to go into agriculture and fell some trees. This will give us uh logs I believe and then you have to cut them up into planks at a woodcutter so oh, no not dirt floor then we want to forage so let's forage all these things or oh, it's not working at the time they click forage didn't I agriculture forage forage for food okay Ah, just like over here. There's some strawberry bushes. Uh, I need to find some cotton. So let's just let them do that. Uh, there's some cotton. Cotton is important to get uh, beds up. And basically you put the cotton in a loom, which turns it into thread piles, I think they're called. So let's get some more of this. Send out the people to pillage all of this good stuff. And from the strawberries, I believe you make strawberry wine. So these gnomes are alcoholics. So you must fuel their alcoholism. Uh, let's cut down. Let's clear this land a bit. So these are birch trees. There's pine. I think there's oak. Not 100% sure, like I said. This is still one of my first few times in playing this. Alright, let's go through time. Well, not go through time, but resume time.
And the sound is coming out the wrong way. Um, give me a second. Alright, that's better. So basically, let's let them go and start doing that stuff. And then we're basically going to mine into the side of this mountain. Basically, these gnomes like to live in the side of mountains. And let's cross section down so we can see. And let's build a big, big area. Well, let's, no, let's build a small starting area and have hallways going off. All right. And over this way, let's build. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to build a big area. Let's build a big starting area, why not? These guys are going to basically dig out all the walls and on the floor they're going to leave dirt clumps and also clay clumps if there's clay. Like this is clay, this is dirt. Basically whenever they mine or dig anything out they leave whatever they do on the floor. And it will basically stay on the floor unless you uh, designate, basically you need to designate areas, um, which I'll get to in a second, once I want to build a room off here, which is going to be something, and a room off here, actually no, I want to... They can't get there anyway because I didn't do it properly. So I'm going to cancel that. And let's fill that in. And then basically here, I want another room. And basically you right click to bring up this menu. And you go designate area. And let's do a dining room. So, that's basically their dining room, we'll call it a great hall. Um, they'll basically hang out here when they've got nothing else to do. See they're all running in here? And then we want to designate a hospital, which is this. And the last thing you really should designate is a stockpile. It's basically, they'll leave all this stuff on the floor unless they stockpile it. So I'm going to turn that down a little bit. There we go. So let's designate stockpile. Basically, I the way I do it, I just designate the whole area for everything. Now they're going to start moving. They're going to start moving, or not. Yeah, that should be designating everything. They're lazy and don't want to do anything. Oh dear. And we want to basically build... Uh, you can build crate barrels and bags to hold stuff in. So I'm going to build a few crates and I'm going to build some barrels. Barrel hold things like strawberry wine. I only need a couple of them. And then I'm going to build a few bags. Bags will hold things like cotton. And now I realized why they weren't moving, because time has been paused. So now they're going to go around, put things away, and basically, yeah, go and collect everything that they just basically pillage, cut down, everything. And one of the first things that we're going to do is to pause time for a second, and we're going to build a farm. So let's build a farm. This is going to be a strawberry farm. 
Then we're going to build another farm, which is going to be a cotton farm. And then we're going to build another farm, which is going to be a wheat farm. And last of all, if we come down here, we want to build a pasture. Pastures are basically places for livestock. Now, when you start the game, you come with two yaks, so basically build a yak pasture. They'll breed, and you can basically, once they've bred and made baby yaks and they grow up, you can make, butcher them and have meat. So, next we want to go into terrain and we want to dig stairs down. This is going to allow, oops, I did that wrong I think, there, want that there, and we want to, sure do that then, deconstruct that set of stairs, so it's not necessary. And then basically dig out, try and find some stone and some, uh, what do you call it, some, you're looking for stone and you're also looking for ores, things like ores like iron and stuff like that. I don't particularly know what's in here, but I know there's coal, so coal is also something good to look for. So let's build some more stairs down. Let's mine out these walls. Let's go over here. What's over here? Ah, it's just water. Now these guys are getting tired, but unfortunately, I haven't built any beds yet because you can't really build beds too early on. So these guys are just going to collapse pretty much anywhere. Seems like there's nothing on this level, so let's dig stairs down. I thought we can find... Oh, what's that? Oh yes, let's mine that out. I haven't seen that before. You'd think it would be lapis lazuli, but I think it's uh, some sort of stone. Oh no, it is lapis lazuli. I have no idea what you do with lapis lazuli, but we have it now. So yeah, I mean, like I said, I've only been playing this game for a couple days now. Um, and while it is difficult to pick up at first, I think it's quite fun. Uh, we want to deconstruct that. They're not using those. And I think they are. If they can still get out, that'd be good. Yes, yeah, see, they're starting to fall asleep on the floor. It's because they're exhausted and there's no way. Basically, if we go up here, we can check what items we have. Ah, yes, you can, stone is basically just... Lapis lazuli is just raw stone, so... Basically, I'm going to have all my machines down here on this second floor. Well, not my machines, but more my, my workspace. Things like that. So, I'm going to build it out. I think everyone's fallen asleep now, so... While we wait for them to wake up, let's... Basically... Can't really do anything until they mine that out. As you can see, they've. Oh, one guy's awake. They're stockpiling everything into these things. And what we will want to do to encourage people to basically come to our land is to build a workshop. I think it's in Misk Market Stall. You need 10 planks and 10 blocks, which you need a sawmill and a stonecutter's workshop. So, let's go down. Need them to dig that out. But all the miners are still asleep. So these guys are just gathering up all the resources which they dug it up. Here we go, they're awake now. 
So let's build a sawmill. There we go, and we also want to build a stone cutter. Now they'll get onto that. They're going to go and collect the resources and plop them down by the thing until they have all the resources they need to build it. There goes the sun. And the next thing we'll want to build, I think, is a loom. Which we need 10 refined blocks and 10 planks. So once these are built, we can work on getting a loom. So let's go down to mining and let's basically mine out some more. See what see what else we can find. Although lapis lazuli is helpful. Oh yeah, they're not built this yet. One, two, three. There we go. There's the sawmill. Basically, you right click on it, and it's going to allow you to choose the log you want to use, or you can choose any log, and the things you can make. I'm just going to click repeat, and they're basically just going to keep making planks until I tell them to stop, or they run out of wood. So basically, he goes and collects uh, the wood from these stockpiles up here, brings it down here, cuts it up, and puts it there. And stone mill, basically the same thing. Except I think, oh yeah, I'll just put it on repeat. Basically, that's your basic starting blocks to build a lot of the different um, workshops that you need. Uh, where is it? Terrain, no, no, no. build. Uh, cloth, loom. So we're going to need 10 blocks. We don't have enough just yet. We have the planks we need. Oh no, we don't. We're still a bit off. So will they make it? Let's go down and check how these guys are going. Mm, looks like they haven't found anything else besides Lapis, so... And I think that's the end of the Lapis deposit. Alright, so let's... Build, no, terrain, dig, stairs down. Let's dig some stairs down. And let's expand out from there. See what we can find. That lapis deposit will probably be down here as well. Although that doesn't look like lapis, that just looks like some sort of regular stone. Oh no, it is lapis. Okay. That's good, the more stone the better, because we're going to need to be building quite a lot of things. And I want to... can I build a thing yet? No. Workshop, yes. Misc. Uh, market stall. don't think I can, but basically, if you don't have the materials to build it just yet, you can sometimes do this. You can actually have it outlined and basically from there you can just have it there and then once the materials are available it will build it. So why is there still dirt in here? This needs to be stockpiled over there. Oh these people. I think I'm just mining too quickly. Uh, and another thing that you will want to make, which I forgot to make is uh, living quarters, basically places where once you get beds, they go to sleep, so they don't just collapse anywhere. I think all of our stone cutters and wood cutters are a bit sleepy at the moment. Do we find anything else down here? Ah, yes, we found some coal. Perfect. Now everyone's asleep again. Oh. So yeah guys, basically I want to share this game with you guys. I've got a, a few keys to give away. 
Um, it's not for Steam. It's not on Steam, unfortunately. It's on a game system called Desmura, I think it's called. Desora. Basically, I'm going to give away one or two keys, depending on how many people are interested. So if you want to enter, like I said, just post anything in the comments. doesn't matter what it is. Just post in the comments and um, just say something like, I want to win. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Something like that. I don't know. Just something so that I know that you want to win. Go into the competition and I will basically draw it out um, on the next video. Which I don't know how long it will be. I'm thinking maybe a day. day or two. Not sure. So yeah, get on it. Free stuff. Everyone loves free stuff. So basically, strawberry farms slowly growing. Uh, we got our cotton farm. 34 seeds are planted. None are ready yet. Uh, our wheat farm. And our yak farm. Yak farms produce yak milk. Which is right there. Plenty of yak milk. I'm guessing these guys aren't picking it up because they're so busy downstairs. Yeah, I'm thinking that's it. So let's look at how many items I have now. Uh, planks. I have 19 planks, which is good. And stone, only 3 blocks. How much raw stone do I have? 210. Why is no one crafting any? The person who doesn't must be asleep. I'm assuming. Ah, oh, there he goes. He's back now. So, where's all this mining going? Oh, there's quite a bit of coal there. I'm gonna mine out. Actually, no, I'm gonna go down another level. Stairs down. Go down another level. Basically, we'll hopefully get to a level where we can find some some metals and get some better tools and hopefully defend ourselves if a oncoming attack is coming. Everyone's just standing still. Are they asleep or are they dead? Stocking... Oh, it's paused. I keep doing that. I keep pausing it and thinking, why is this not working? Oh dear. Alright, let's build around a bit. See what we can find. Just dirt, 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 more dirt. Now, this game's usually $10, but much like Minecraft was, it's selling off in alpha stage, so I think it's like 20% off. Uh, you get three updates for, for life much like Minecraft as well, so yeah, it's definitely a good game to look into. A lot of the indie games are quite good. Minecraft is a definitely a good example of that. Alright, so digging up some more there. And yes, I wanted to basically designate the area as a dormitory. There we go. Basically, they'll go there to sleep once there's beds. Uh, can I build a loom? I'll just set it up so it will build a loom once it's ready. There we go. Now they're going to build that loom as soon as the materials for it are there. We've got all the planks there, I think, now. We're just waiting for the stone. Milking the yaks. Ah, oh, where is it all gone? Alright, we're starting to get some of the blocks here. How many blocks do we have now? Stone blocks. 16, okay. So they should be able to build that now. Where do they go? They got 1, 2, 3, 4. 
Unless they're building this thing first, no. They're just not taking it from there. Come on, build this thing already. That's the problem is sometimes you, you sometimes you just don't know what they're doing. You don't know why they're not doing something. Right now, I think it's because I just put too much on them at once. There's some more coal, I think, so I'll dig that up. I'll do that once they're awake. Alright, that's built now. So basically, this allows you to turn cotton into bolts. So I'm going to build a few of those. And then with that, I need to also build a carpenter. Which is basically going to build carpentry stuff. Tables, chairs, beds, things like that. Yes, the trader's desk is there now. Market stall. It's vacant. How do I put someone onto that? I don't know. See, I'm still owning this game like everyone else. Hmm. What's that? Is that coal? Clay pile, copper pickaxe. Nice. So, why aren't people using it? Where's. Minor Kaz? Equipment. I can't equip you with stuff. No, apparently not. I don't know if they equip themselves or. I didn't even know I had copper to be honest. Uh, goods metal. No, I don't. So I don't know where they got it from. So let's head down <coughs> and wait for the carpenter to be built. I don't know how much Lapis Azulu they have, but it's just not big enough to look at it. And how much wood do we have left? Still 112, that's plenty. And they all seem to be hungry, so let's build them a... Actually, no, let's get a well. We need to get a well going, so let's go up to the surface. Let's find some water. That's quite far away for some water. Oh, not really. Oh, you can put this pretty much... What is there, water under... I didn't know there was water there. Alright, so let's put the well uh, there. I said I didn't know there was water there, but apparently there is. Alright, why is that red? Production halted, no room. Okay. Uh, still making bolts of cloths. And waiting to build the workshop, which they are not doing. Again, I don't know why. <sighs> These guys are really confusing. I can go to events, but there's nothing there. So I can't see what's going on. Last bolt of cloth. Let's make a few more. There we go. Starting to take planks there now. How much uh, stone blocks do we have? Twelve. 
We have 1,448 clumps of soil and 20 planks. Okay, that's good. I'm going to slowly get to that. And let's head down. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my miners into... Uh, well, let me go to professions. Actually, no, I think they all will pick up anyway. That's right. Alright, now that our carpenter is built, let's build some beds. You need four of any planks and two of any bolt of cloths. So let's make four. Hopefully someone will come and do that shortly. Let's get this guy off of this. There we go. Now hopefully he should move over to this thing. Well, probably not actually. <laughs> um, builder. I think a builder does uh, carpentry. Construction and hauling. I uh, can do carpentry as well. Oh, who does the wood cutting then? That's what I'm. Oh, woodcutter would do the wood cutting? Yes, and they also do the carpentry. So, there's two woodcutters, two farmers. Let's just do another woodcutter. What does a rancher do? A rancher. Leather working. Cooking and hauling. Okay. Alright, so there's still tons of logs around here. Basically, what I'm going to do, if I have any, that is, if I go to wood, no, not wood, uh, plant, clipping. 38 clippings, basically clippings uh, when you go to agriculture, plant trees let's put some birch clippings down there we go, that's going to build a whole bunch of birch trees <coughs> basically so we can get back to them, they still haven't built the well fair enough if they don't want to build the well, that's fine Alright, they're all falling asleep. And finally, this guy's making beds, so let's... Once you make the beds, you have to go to build, furniture, bed, and put them in their quarters. Cancel job, that one. No, I wanted to... Ah. Deconstruct. That, because that doesn't need to go there. It's supposed to go there, to keep it even. There we go. We've got four beds. A merchant has arrived. Where's the merchant? Let's pause time, because I don't know how long he's here for. So let's market stall. So basically we can get rid of a whole bunch of stuff, sell it, and buy stuff back. So let's get rid of all this dirt that we have lots of. Oopsies. Nope. I don't need all that dirt. 
but I probably need some of it still, so let's get rid of a thousand of it. Um... Well, he wants birch planks. He's giving a bit of money for that. And birch clippings. And apple wood logs. Let's give him... whoops. Well, I think I just gave him all of that for free. <laughs> whoops. Apple wood logs. Uh, birch logs. Let's give him, say, 30. What can he give me? Oh, he's got tin and copper. Ooh. Yaks and our packers. I will take two female yaks. Actually, no. I'll just take one female yak. And... Six copper ore. And six tin. There we go. So I need to come up with 220. So... Let's give him more birch log. Strawberry seeds, I'll give you 25 of them. Birch clippings, I'll give you 10. I'll give you, say, 40 strawberries. And I'll give you one more strawberry. There we go. So that yak should go outside now. Or not. Yak. Should make its way there. Get stuck inside. What are you doing, Yak? Go outside and breed. We need meat. Go outside. Oh, you stupid Yak. Don't talk back, Yakity Yak. Alright. I'm sure she will find her own way there. Now, now that we've got this, um, this tin and copper, we're going to need to build a furnace. So let's build that there. And then along with that furnace, we're going to need... Oops. Along with that furnace, I think we're going to need a forge. Build. Workshop. Metal. Forge. Melt raw metal ore into bars. Here we're going to need a forge and a blacksmith. So let's put them down. Workshop, metal, blacksmith. Ah, we don't have any bars yet. So we're going to need to wait until the forge is done up. We can craft coal. Ah, oh, it's like crafting charcoal from wood logs. I did not know you could do that. That's good. Yeah, how are these guys going? How much fiber? Yeah, let's build a few more bolts of cloths. So we can make a few more beds. So, we're waiting for two beds. So, I'll come back up. How much population do we have? We have nine, so we should make... So we need one, two, five beds. There we go. Let's come up here and basically... Mine out this wall. <coughs> and build bed. Yep. Right there. Right there. Right there. Go. Okay, that's the nine beds for everyone. Now it's just a matter of waiting for them to be built. All right. Now what has this guy going? Hasn't got any of the materials he needs yet. Uh, should have plenty of coal, to be honest. Although, you don't need that for the forge. I think it's just stone and uh, blocks. So how much of that do we have? 
Uh, stone blocks, 17. Wood planks, 9. How many logs? 23. I think we need to go cut down some trees. Have these ones grown yet? No. So let's... Uh, let's fell trees. Yeah, fell all those. And then we also forage. Pick up those strawberries there. Well, all these wood logs are out here. Why aren't they picking them up? Oh yeah, that yak found its way. That's good. Also, another thing we're going to want is to get their food situation sorted out. So let's build a kitchen. Don't have any tables, so let's go to the carpenter and build a table. Let's move it up to the top. And we're going to probably eventually need a butcher, so I will build a butcher. And also a distillery, so they can get drunk. Distillery. There we go. Hopefully they'll get the table sorted out soon. How much cloth do we have? Items, goods, uh, Cloth. Not fibre. Bolt of cloth. Eight. Alright, so that's still plenty. So what are these guys doing? Um... Rooms. Uh, we've got total of rooms. Yep. Cool. Uh, the trader's still here. Have anything else we can give him while he's still here that we've got excess of? Got lots of strawberry wine. Oh, fifty of that. Got all these copper hand axes. Let's give him. Some strawberry seeds at 70. What can we get from him? Apple wine. Let's grab another, uh, let's grab a male yak. That means we've got to find some way to give him another 30. Let's give him 15 birch logs. There we go. There's another yak for the family of yaks out there. Once he eventually finds his way. Uh, haven't built the table yet. Or the workshop. Or the, not the workshop, the forge. Coming up to the start of the sixth day. I don't know how, what the chances of getting attacked are. Yes, there's the table. So we can now build a <coughs> kitchen. We can make things like bread. And sandwiches once we get butcher up some of those yaks once they've grown. So there should be four yaks there at the moment. I still haven't collected up all this stuff yet. Is there just no room for it or? Oh no, they're slowly getting there. That's what I get for digging too quickly. Everyone's busy going and picking up all that stuff that they're not really. Oh, look at that wheat! All the strawberries are growing. Still no yak... yaks yet?
Yeah. Just waiting for them to build everything. I said I don't know what they're doing. There's no military yet. I haven't gotten to military yet, so I probably won't do that. At the moment, I probably think I'm invincible. Low on food and drink. That's why I'm hoping they're going to start building this stuff soon. Why is this? Are they they're not taking it from there. Once they've whoop, wrong way. Once they've picked up all of this stuff, which there's a lot of it, that's when I think they'll they will start building all this stuff. So, yeah. I think I'm going to call that the end of this episode. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you guys want to enter into the, the the giveaway that I'm doing for this, basically just post in the comments whatever you want. Just I want to win. Let me know that you want to win this, and I will be giving away a key for this game um, for the next video. So yeah. Definitely check that out. So, post in the comments saying you want to win, and you could win. Yeah, can't say it anymore. <laughs> Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think of this game, and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.